Connecting Central Texas, this is 25 News. President Biden is sending 1,500 troops to the southern border. Cities like El Paso are expecting an influx of migrants. The mayor there issued an emergency declaration to help with public shelter and public housing. Now, all of this is happening as Title 42 is set to expire next week. In-depth reporter Nick Bradshaw has been following this issue for the better part of a year. Tonight, he has an update from the border. <laughs> With eyes on the U.S.-Mexico border, this video from the Texas Department of Public Safety Walk back to me, walk back to me, keep walking. Showing two females from Waco smuggling six migrants. Troopers also found a stolen handgun and drugs. We've been up and down border communities several times in the last year. Good afternoon, everybody. The White House deployed troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. Troops in Fort Hood already there. It is going to be in the role of performing administrative tasks, uh, data, data entry, and also warehouse, uh, warehouse report. It will allow CBP to actually be able to perform their duties. They don't intend to shut down the cartels. They don't intend to secure the border. But Republicans firing back at the Biden administration. The Biden administration is going to lift Title 42, and here's their great plan. They're going to make it worse. In December, this was the picture in El Paso. These photos from this week shows a repeat. So yes, protecting our border and securing our border is essential. Christopher Miller, former Secretary of Defense of President Donald Trump, believes the border issue is a direct threat. Can it be both? Can it be a humanitarian issue and a national security issue? Yes, without hesitation. Like I said, this year, I think, what do we got? 118, 120,000 Americans died from uh, these drugs coming in from south of the border and, and well, not just south of the border. And let's be clear, a lot of that fentanyl is made in China. And now they've kind of outsourced it to make it in other, uh, other areas closer to the border. And while things continue to brew on the border, it's also an issue of human life. Most migrants are searching for a safer place to call home. But drug cartels taking advantage of the issue. Just like these two from Waco. The cartels are hiring Americans to smuggle human life and drugs into the U.S. Nick Bradshaw, 25 News.